If you want to become wealthy one day, then you absolutely must become familiar with compound interest. This is it, the most powerful wealth building tool in existence. Hello and welcome to Practical Personal Finance. My name is Andrew Shear, and on this channel, I give you the information you need to help you understand and succeed with money. Today, I'm going to be talking about how you can build unimaginable amounts of wealth by harnessing the power of compound interest. If you're new here, don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button and join the conversation in the comments below. Albert Einstein once called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. Compound interest is like a bonus you get paid for having a bunch of money and leaving it alone. And the longer you leave it alone, the bigger the bonus gets. It works like this. Let's say you invest $1,000 and your investment earns 12% interest per year. The first year, you only earn interest on your $1,000 investment. But the next year, the magic starts happening. Not only do you earn interest on your original $1,000 investment, but you also earn interest on the interest from the first year. Boom, that's compound interest. It might not seem like a whole lot at first, but keep that going for 30 years and you'll wind up with over $35,000. If you like the idea of being able to invest $1,000, leave it alone for 30 years, and wind up with over $35,000, then give this video a thumbs up. Add a couple zeros to your initial investment and you can start to understand just how powerful compound interest can truly be. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you two ways to calculate compound interest. The first way is the manual step-by-step -step way where you get to see what's happening behind the scenes as interest is generated and compounded. Then after you have a good understanding of what's happening, I'll teach you a simple formula to calculate compound interest without all the busy work. Fair warning, there is a little bit of math involved in this video, and I'm not gonna lie, some of it can seem pretty intimidating at first but I'm going to do my best to break it down so you can easily understand it. For this first method, I'm going to show you my work in Google Sheets, but you can do it just as easily with a pen, paper, and the calculator on your phone. Before we continue, it's important that you understand the concept of compounding. Compounding is when the interest you've earned is calculated and then added to the principal. In most cases, compounding happens once a month, but it can happen once a year, once a quarter, or even once a day. The more frequently compounding happens, the more compound interest you'll earn. Let's start with a $1,000 investment. This investment is projected to earn 12% interest per year, and it's compounded monthly. I wanna figure out how much money I'll have if I just let this money chill out and earn interest for one year. I'll start with entering my initial investment of $1,000. I have my annual interest rate of 12%, but because interest is going to be compounded monthly, I need to divide that interest rate by 12 since there are 12 months in a year. If I divide 12% by 12, I end up with 1%. That's my monthly interest rate. Next, I divide 1% by 100 to get my interest rate in decimal form. I wind up with 0.01. Now I can multiply my initial investment or principal by the interest rate to figure out the interest generated in one month. So I take $1,000 and multiply it by 0.01 and I get $10. In one month, my investment will generate $10 of interest. The $10 of interest is then added to the original $1,000 investment to get the new principal amount after the first month. My new principal is now $1,010. For the second month, I take the new principal, $1,010, and multiply it by the interest rate, 0.01, and I get $10.10. Add that back to the principal, and my new principal is now $1,020.10. If I repeat that process for 10 more months, my final balance will be $1,126.83, and that in its most simplified form is how compound interest works. You may be saying, but Andrew, I only made an extra six bucks over an entire year thanks to compound interest. 
why the heck is Einstein calling it the eighth wonder of the world? The truth is that compound interest really doesn't do a whole lot in the beginning when you're just starting out. But as you'll see in the next example, what it does over a long period of time is absolutely bonkers. Now I'm going to show you the second method for calculating compound interest, which replaces all the busy work we just did with a single formula. The formula looks like this. Whoa, that looks scary. Let me break it down so you can understand it more easily. P is the original investment you started with. R is the annual interest rate. N is the number of times the interest is compounded per year. T is the number of years we want to project for. And A is the final amount after all the interest is compounded and added. Not so bad, right? Let's give it a try with the example from before and fill in the blanks. P equals $1,000, our original investment. R equals 0 0.12, our annual interest rate in decimal form. N equals 12, the number of times the interest will be compounded in a year, once every month and t equals one, since we're only projecting for one year. Plug all that into a calculator, and we'll find that a equals $1,126.83. Exactly the same result as before, but much more quickly this time. Now that we've got this great formula to work with, let's use it to figure out what our final balance would be if we just let our investment chill for 30 years. I plug in all the same numbers as before, except I changed T to 30 this time. And the answer is $35,949.64. About 40 years. Then you'd have $118,647.73. This is getting out of hand. 50 years, $391,583.40. That is what's so incredible about compound interest. If you put $1,000 into an investment earning 12% per year, compounded monthly at age 20, and left it alone until your 70th birthday, you'd wind up with almost $400,000. And that, my friends, is why Albert Einstein called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. It is truly incredible just how much wealth can be built with some compound interest and some time. I encourage you to try out some compound interest calculations for yourself to begin to understand how powerful it can truly be. If you're not so handy with a calculator, or if you just want to make things even easier, there's an amazing compound interest calculator on investor.gov that I'll leave a link to in the description. You can do the same calculation I did here, but you can also see the effect of monthly additions over time. If you earned almost $400,000 thanks to compound interest, what would you do with it? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please consider supporting my channel by becoming a subscriber with notifications turned on. While you're at it, share this video with a friend who doesn't know about compound interest. They'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. My name's Andrew Shear, and I'll see you next time.